top five worst martial arts movies of oh. all time. You want to kick it off? Okay, this one's going to break my heart. And I'm going to put it at number five because it wasn't terrible, but it has to go in the top five. Like, it is down there with cinematic um, quality. And I love this movie, but it has to go in there uh, because it's just not great. And the sequels were even worse. <laughs> and okay, take us out of our suspense. The, the, the Three Ninjas. Oh, I love those movies, <laughs> exactly. bro. Exactly. I love but, them. But you know they what? were you know, so bad. They were so bad. Do you know what bad. I found? Yeah. I found that I found that when I was just watching them, I grew up watching them and I absolutely mm -hmm. loved them. And then and then I watched them. They've been on DSTV, which is like satellite television yeah. in South Africa. Uh, for like the past two years, they've been popping up here and there. And I've rewatched them. Mm -hmm. And I still love them for their novelty and the value, you know, <laughs> the, the kind of nostalgic value mm -hmm. that they bring. And I still enjoyed them. And then when I went to read about what people thought about it, and that's when, you know, the internet yeah. just trashed the absolute shit out <laughs> yeah. of there. And then that kind of ruined it for me. And I was kind of like, yeah, you know, you, you've all got kind of valid points, but <laughs> it I is don't know. Pure, I, I, it's pure I nostalgic like, value because we loved it as kids. Because the idea of a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old and a 12-year-old going and taking down a whole crime syndicate was Rocky Colts and Tum Tum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it was, okay, but okay. It has to be my number five because of the quality and the the cinematic buildup of it. Um, it. To me, it stood the test of time because I loved it. But <laughs> from a mass audience perspective, it was trash. So it, it's I have to go with that. Uh, next one on your list, first one. Have you ever watched a movie called The Art of Self-Defense? <laughs> no. Sounds like a tutorial. So it's a recent movie, maybe a couple of years old, with Jesse Eisenberg. Oh. And, okay. And, and he basically actor. he basically plays this weird kid who gets bullied and whatever and starts karate with these weird people and like it's just so strange and left wing and alternative and turned into like a political commentary on life versus death and some weird ass shit. And I was super excited about it. And I got like the people in the house at the time to come and sit and watch this with me. And by halfway, and I was like, if you guys want to go, like you can, because oh. this is absolute <laughs> fucking dog shot. <laughs> Oh, Check man. it out. Um, well, don't watch, no, don't no. watch it. I'm telling you now. <laughs> but that would be right up there. That would be in my top five. Uh, like it's a lot of it's based um, in a karate dojo with karate people. And it's just, yeah, I, 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 you could barely call it a martial arts movie, but it is. It has fight scenes. It has philosophy. <laughs> and tradition, Philos but, yeah. Philosophy. Great. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'd, put, I'd, I'd put that in there around number five or four for me. Okay. Uh, next one for me, Street Fighter. <laughs> again when i watched it when i was seven eight nine ten years old and and been playing the game for a couple of years loved it uh if i watch it now yeah i kind of mm. get why you would say that <laughs> what's next have you ever watched a movie called beverly hills ninja kung fu uh, you, you, how can you put that in your bottom <laughs> Dude, like you know, what a cool mm. movie! It's super fun. It has from a cinematic has, experience. That was amazing. That actually has Luke Luke Kang, the guy who yeah. played Luke Kang in the original Mortal Kombat. So yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> if it, you know, if it's not in your top five, you, but you can't where does put it, it go? you can't put it in your bottom five because it's the the man it's he died also. The I think the main actor died. The the white ninja. Really, I think he the great away. white ninja. Yeah, the great white I, ninja. I thought he couldn't die. <laughs> well, he's sitting in the clouds. But just um, a suggestion, oh, dude. That that for me was a. I watched that over and over again on cassette tape. Like yeah, I enjoyed that, watching that, it. That was repetitive, um, and that had um, that had Chris Rock in. Hmm. Chris Rock was okay. his driver. He swings on the palm tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh man. You, okay, you, okay. Yeah, was, so then a, that was a big fine. one. That was a big one for me. What um, What's next for you? What's number three worthy for you? Uh, have you ever watched a movie that's called uh, Mr. Nice Guy? 
um, by Jackie Chan. And it's hurtful you... for me to say Jack, one of Jackie Chan's movies falls in my bottom five. Um, yes, because some I, of the I fight scenes recall. are great. He's this rich guy and he, he, he always wears white. And um, yeah, like one of the fight scenes was incredible. But as a movie, it was just terrible. Um, so that, that's going to have to be like number three for me. <laughs> any, any of that? I've got, I've got number one and two. Okay. G give us and number two. Uh, it's called Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll give you number two. Uh, and, okay. and again, you know, these are spoofs, but mm. yeah. even then, like, it, it, it's novel to watch the first time. Then when you rewatch it, you're actually like, who actually took time <laughs> out of their daily lives <laughs> to come together and produce something like this? <laughs> Okay. That would be my number two. Okay. So I've got two tied for number one. Okay. Me. So first one, Dragon Ball Z. The, the okay. movie remake was a demolition of a cult, um, like anime that was created that literally shaped the generation. Like there is people still living and watching. There's people who are today... 35 years old, still watching um, that anime. They love it. And they ruined it with the movie. Like, there was enough technology during that time when it was created to create something incredible. And they, they destroyed a whole genre. So that would be one of my number one. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never seen it because I wasn't a Dragon Ball Z fan. So I've never watched mm. Dragon Ball Z. I was, yeah. a, I was a Pokemon fan. Uh, so I used to watch Pokemon instead because it was on around the same time on a different channel every day mm -hmm. after school. Um, but I've, yeah, I've heard you and Sean talk about <laughs> that. Um, yeah. So I can't really comment. But I, based on your, uh, your knowledge <laughs> of movies, yeah. I would back you up on that one. Okay. So what is your number one then? Kung Pao. We just tied for number one. It was the worst movie ever made. Dude, like... I, I, I'm literally 100% on board with you because that was my number it two. Was, it was so bad, it's good. Do you know I can, what I mean? Like, I can rewatch that 100 times because of how bad it is. Um, it, it's like watching Borat. The movie is yeah. so bad, but yeah. so good to watch. It. Like, yeah. it, but from a martial art, yeah. It's, oh. They've, they, they spoofed a whole martial art. They destroyed it. It's, yes, Kung Pao is my number one worst martial art movie, 100%. <laughs> Counterintuitively, having said that, if you haven't seen it, go give it a watch. <laughs> yeah, go it's, give it it's a watch. weird that we're saying this, but you've got to see it. <laughs> it it's it, so bad that it's good. 